Hey, what's up guys? So you have a uh, Philips Android TV remote and you have an issue where it's not working. Basically you have one or several buttons that are not working, okay? Now if all of your buttons are not working then you probably need to go ahead and repair it. But this video is just for one button or several buttons not working. Also if it's ghosting, by ghosting for example what I mean is if you're on your TV and you go ahead and and it kind of has a mind of its own. Maybe you're not even doing nothing and it's kind of like switching and moving around and stuff like that. Or maybe, you know, you go ahead and you move over like once and it goes over like two or three times. Anyway, I'm going to give you a couple easy solutions to get, get you up and running. But this is only going to work for 50% of you guys, but this is very easy possible fix. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and leave, put your, leave your TV on and then while your TV is on, what you want to do is pull the power plug where, wherever wall socket is pulled into. So I'm going to go ahead and pull the plug just like this. Wait 30 seconds. After 30 seconds, go ahead and plug it back in. Then go ahead and turn your TV on and then see if your remote is working properly, correctly. Okay, if not, then we're going to go to the next step. Okay, so the next possible step here is go ahead and grab your remote. And what you want to do is you want to go ahead and... Pop out your batteries. Make sure the batteries are out. Okay, now the first thing is go ahead and grab your remote. And what I want you to do is press and hold this power button down for 15 seconds. Press and hold while the battery is out. After 15 seconds up, go ahead and let go. Next thing is I want you to do is spam every single button. Starting with the power button here, go in and out, in and out. And just start going crazy. Because typically what happens is if you get any kind of like water, hand lotion, dirt, lint stuck in one of these buttons, or several buttons, it can cause other issues on other buttons as well. So what you want to do is kind of get everything all nice and loose. Every single button on here, okay? Even the OK, the up, down, left, right, all up here. Netflix, Voodoo, Google Play, YouTube. Just go ahead and just start spamming every single button on here. Give it a couple whacks. Now go ahead and put your batteries back in. Don't put the back lid on yet, okay? Just put the batteries in and then see if your uh, remote is working properly. If it's not, usually you have to do this like three times to get it working. But anyway, if it didn't work the first time, take the batteries back out and do the same thing again. Remember, press and hold this power button for 15 seconds. After 15 seconds is up, let go. And then again, remember, you gotta spam every single button on here. Get, get everything all nice and loose in here. If anything is like, kinda like stuck, give it a couple of whacks. Pop the batteries back in and then see if your remote is working. If it's still not working, do the same thing again. Pull the batteries out, press and hold the power button, and spam every single button. Try this up to six times, okay? If after the sixth time your remote is still not working properly, then the next thing is go ahead and grab yourself another pair of batteries. It doesn't have to be brand new batteries. Just get, just get another um, set of uh, AAA batteries. And before you put it in, do the same thing again, okay? Press and hold the power button for like 15 seconds and then spam every single button. Give it a couple whacks. Then put the new batteries back in and then go ahead and see if your remote is now working. Like I said, this is only gonna work for 50% of you guys, but if it worked for you, give me a thumbs up. If it didn't, give me a thumbs down. We should see a 50-50 ratio. Good luck, guys.